Hello, this is Greg Deckler for Enterprise DNA. And today we are going to look at guaranteeing a sort order in DAX. Now, the subject, uh, I don't know how many times I've seen it stated, heard it stated, that DAX cannot guarantee sort order. This is a lie. DAX can absolutely guarantee sort order. Maybe, maybe if you're, you know, you're afflicted with uh, calculate brain disease, you know, you can't guarantee sort order. But if you're not, it's actually pretty simple to do uh, in concept. It's a little, it's a little bit of, it's quite a bit of DAX sometimes. But uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna, sh I'm not just gonna tell you that you can do it. I'm going to show you how you can do it um, in this video. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a, a super simple data model. Uh, this table four that I have. And table four, basically I have three campaigns in here with an analyzed ROI and a cost, okay? And they happen to all cost the same, um, but their ROI is different. And the concept here is at, at for a certain budget, I want to uh, determine which campaigns I should run depending on their ROI, um, you know, and that they fit within the, the specified budget. All right, so we're gonna take this a little slow. Um, because it can get a little bit involved. I've got this measure here. And what you see here is a simple while loop, okay? And I have a budget of 20,000 that is kind of hard coded in here. And then we've got our while loop, all right? Which I've covered while loops before in different videos, but essentially just to review, we create a table var, we use an add columns, we go against our base table, we added a running total column, um, as it were, we grab the analyzed ROI in our uh, current row. And then we take our budget minus sum X and we filter all, we filter table four for the analyzed ROI that is greater than or equal to our, our ROI that we grabbed for our current row, grab the cost. So we subtract that from our budget. So essentially what this is gonna be to do is like for the ROI that's the highest, this is only gonna include that one. For the next lowest ROI, it'll include the highest ROI, ROI and its current ROI, right? So essentially we have a column here that's a running total counting down to zero and negatives, All right? So now we exit our while loop. So we get our final table. We simply filter our table variable where the running total column is greater than or equal to zero because anything below that it's gone negative and we're out of budget. And then we can just concatenate X up those values and I, included multiple columns here and a unicar 10. Um, and so I can unhide this card visual. And you see here, you know, I come back with, you know, I had my Instagram and my SEM, which are my two highest ROIs. Let's go and check that. Yep, PPC is lower ROI than both of them. Okay, but as you notice here, it didn't come back with my, you know, Instagram is an 8.1 versus 8.15. So it, you know, what if I wanted these to be, I wanted absolutely that these things were, you know, returned, this one gets returned first, and this one get, gets returned second, because this has the highest ROI. So that is guaranteeing sort order. This gets a little bit involved, but it's not difficult to understand how to do it. So here's that same function, and this this section down here is just that while loop. Maybe I, maybe I should have zoomed in on this on the previous one, but you know, it's, that's our while loop right there. So in order to guarantee sort order, we need to do a little extra work. Um, and what we're gonna do here is so we've got our budget. So the first thing I do is I get my, my underscore underscore count variable. I get count rows of my table four, okay? So in the next line, I'm using concatenate X and I'm concatenating my campaigns, my analyzed ROI and my cost columns I'm just using, in this case, I just picked a random using a star to separate those. You can use anything as a separator um, as long as it's not in your data, right? Uh, in this case, there's no asterisks that appear in my data. So, and then I'm using a pipe character. So pipe character is the next parameter after the cost column. And then I am grabbing, I'm sorting that by analyzed ROI and then descending. So my highest ROI will be at the top. So what I'm going to get back is if you look at the uh, the comment line there, I'm going to get back something like SEM star 8.15 star 10,000 pipe, Instagram star 8.1 star 10,000, you know, so it's going to be come out in the order of the highest ROI to the lowest ROI. Okay, the next part is we 
we jump into a for loop. OK, I, I love this example because you get a for loop, you get a while loop and all kinds of cool, fun stuff. So general for loop, right? The table one is our for loop. And what we're doing is we're adding a column to a generate series that goes from one to our account by one. We then in our row, we're using path item because we use that pipe character in order to uh, separate out our rows of our table. Um, we're using path item and we're just great grabbing the path, the, you know, from the ordered variable, which is our string. We're using value, which is your automatic column that is created when for generate series. So that's our counter one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, up to how many, how many rows are in our table. And we're returning that back as text. Okay, so now what we have is now we have a guaranteed sort order for our table, which goes from the highest ROI to the lowest ROI. So that's, there's your DAX for guaranteeing sort order. Now, in order to get this in a usable format, then we have to do table two, where we're gonna pick out the individual um, columns from our string that we have. So if you see, uh, I have add columns, I'm adding to table one, which was my for loop. And I have my campaigns, I'm gonna create a campaigns column, and I'm gonna substitute you know, and replace those asterisks with pipes. And then I can use path item, you know, on that row path to grab the first element and turn it as text. And in the R analyzed ROA column, I'm gonna do the same thing. I again, substitute it, you know, with this, the asterisk with pipes. I can, and I just totally, I don't know what I did there. <laughs> I can then grab the second, it's the second item in my path, right? Now I'm returning as text because for some reason, path item lets you return as integer or text, um, but not decimal number. And so that's kind of weird to me, but we can solve that um, because all we have to do is add a zero and it, DAX will automatically convert the string to a text, to a, to a number value, numeric value. Same thing for cost. Again, use the substitute, use the path item to grab the third item, add zero, because it's a, it's a whole number in this case. Um, so it's going to come back as, as a number. And then we just, the, you know, the rest of it is just our, the while loop that we just covered. So there you go there. And now what comes back, if I unhide this card visual, is now we come back and we have our guaranteed sort order of from highest to lowest campaign. So our SEM was our highest, you know, ranked uh, ROI for our campaign and Instagram is the second one. And so proof positive, that all of those people that believe that DAX cannot guarantee sort order are lying to you because you can do it. All right, that is a short and sweet video. That's all I had for today. Hope you found this enjoyable and I will catch you guys next time. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.